Hey guys, it's Tamman doing what I love, and today for Movie Monday, it is the 2018 Best Movies Tier List Maker. Today, I am going to be ranking all the 2018 films that I have seen, and if I did not see it, well, there is a little uh, tier for that. 2018 was a really great year for movies, and since I started my channel this year, I wanted to do a video dedicated to an awesome year we had in film. So the first film on this list that I saw was Solo, A Star Wars Story, and I liked it um, better than most people. It's a pretty fun western. Um, I think it could have been better. The villain was a bit weak, and some of the characters I thought were amp, but Arden Aaron like does a really good job with um, Han Solo in the film. I thought he did a great job. Um, Donald Glover, I loved his Lando. Lando. Uh, Chewie was great. I thought some of the action was pretty good. It was a pretty fun movie, and I feel like that's what Solo was trying to be, and he succeeded in that. I felt the film could have been a bit funnier, but still, it was pretty good. I have not seen Bohemian Rhapsody. Ready Player One. Oh, this film's kind of disappointing. It looks fantastic, and the action's cool, but I just don't feel any emotional connection to the characters. I think some of the acting from the main character is not that great, and I honestly think the side characters are a lot better in the film. Also, I think the ending's a bit odd, uh, but I, I did, um, I'm glad I saw it. Next up here, we have Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2, um, its strength is its biggest weakness. This movie's really funny, but sometimes it's too funny. A lot of dramatic stuff happens in Deadpool 2, and sometimes I feel like the film jogs, and it does not take a break. It always, it always keeps running. It never takes a break. And yeah, the movie's funny, but sometimes it, like, it doesn't calm down when it needs to. But still, I love what they did with Cable in the film. Um, the action's great. It's a pretty good film. Black Panther. Um, I loved this film when it first came out, but I've rewatched it, and I think it's good. Um, the, for me, the film has pacing issues. That's the main thing. It's not even evenly paced. I like the side characters. I wish we saw more of them. And the final action scene is eh. But I love Michael B. Jordan as a villain. And it does a great job building Wakanda. I'm excited to see what they do with Black Panther 2 and 3 and his many more appearances in the MCU. Speaking of that, Avengers Infinity War I love. First of all, Josh Brolin as Thanos. This is almost kind of Thanos' movie, to be honest, and I love all the team-ups, how they put certain characters like Iron Man and Doctor Strange have never been on screen, where they're on screen together on this film, and they just do such a great job. The action, this movie had me on the edge of my seat. Um, I, I really love this film. Next up here is Aquaman. Aquaman was a really um, fun film. I really enjoyed it. Um, sometimes I think the film's a bit over the top and like, oh, oh my goodness, like sometimes the emotional beats on there, but it's a really fun film. James Wan said he kind of wanted to do like a Saturday morning cartoon movie with a ton of action, just really fun movie, and it is. Um, I, what really helps this movie is Jason Momoa. You can tell he's loving the role of Aquaman. This is just a really fun movie, a really good um, entry into DCU. Next up, we hear, I haven't seen a lot of these upcoming films. Um, next up here, we have Mission Impossible Fallout. Oh my goodness, one of my favorite movies I've seen in about five years. I'm not even exaggerating. Tom Cruise, Henry Cavill, Alec Baldwin, everyone in this film is fantastic. The action, holy crap, that's some of the best I've ever seen. The suspense. The way certain sh uh, scenes are shot, the camera angles is used in action, the way editing is used, this is filmmaking used to its finest. Plus, the soundtrack is fantastic. I love Mission Impossible Fallout. It was a film that I just, like I said, it's one of my favorites. A film that's not one of my favorites is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It's a bad movie. Uh, this film has kind of two segments, the island segment and the mansion segment. The mansion segment is dumb. Dinosaurs on a Haunted Mansion sounds cool at first, but I don't feel like this film, it doesn't do a good job building up the tension, and the island part feels too rushed. So, that's kind of that. Ant-Man and the Wasp, I, I, I feel like it, it's kind of in the same thing with Solo. It's a fun movie. It's a lighthearted movie. Um, I like the chemistry between the three leads, um, you know, Hope, um, Scott Lang, and Hank Pym. Um, the action's fun, uh, but the villain's kind of weak, and yeah, but it was a fun movie, kind of like Solo. Solo's born, really want to see that, probably when I see that film, I will do 
of a view on that. Um, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Oh my goodness. One of the best animated films. I loved it. Not only is it beautifully animated, but the film looks fantastic. Um, and the story. Oh my goodness. This film is beautiful in visuals and the story. And they balance all these Spider characters really well. It's a film that I think even people who don't really like Spider-Man will love. It's, it's amazing. Incredibles 2 I really liked. Um, for me, I think this is a pretty good film. The reason it's not the epic tier is, I think, the villain. The villain, I think, has some good ideas, how they focus on technology and what technology-focused society, but I just don't think the film really expands on that. It's like, oh, he's a villain. Um, though, but I love the family dynamic in the film. I think that's the strongest part. It's funny. It does a good job picking up from the first film. I like the action, and I like how we see more superpowers. One film, though, that I really did see, and I'm glad I did, was Christopher Robin here. This is a sweet film. It's about Christopher Robin from the uh, um, Winnie the Pooh. I, I really like this film. Um, it's sweet. It's touching. Um, uh, Ian McGregor does a fantastic job in the role. I, I'm going to put this in the epic role. It's not epic as, oh, there's not amazing action like these three films, but I love it in the sense that it's just so beautiful and touching with the emotion. The film's beautifully shot. The way they use camera angles, I really love the film. Um, it's a video I might do on, um, on itself just because of how special it is. Want to see Venom. I heard Teen Titans Go was actually pretty, pretty decent for what it was. Haven't seen a lot of these films. The next um, film I did see was Mary Poppins Return. Um, I really liked that movie. I loved the first Mary Poppins, and I thought the sequel was really good. I, I, I really I, I really loved it for me. I think it was a film that um, the musicals captured the essence of the first one. Emily Blunt does a really great job in the role. They did a good job transitioning between her and Julie Andrews. Um, it was a film that I, I love the original, and it just recaptured that movie. Um, this Though the sequel does have an antagonist, which felt a bit forced. And some of the scenes are like, okay, that's fine. But I think when this film is good, it's really good. And guys, that's it here for the 2018. I have not seen the rest of these films. Oh, well, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below of the 2018 movies. It was a really good uh, year for movies. And I'm glad you saw 2019 has been really good as well. I might do a video at the end of 2019 when movie year was better. If I did see any of these films that I haven't watched, I will do a video of them on later. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know. So the only bad film is really Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And it could have been better was Solo, and then it was uh, Ready Player One. Good was Mary Poppins Returns, Incredibles 2, Black Panther, Deadpool 2, and Aquaman. And Epic was Infinity War, Spider-Verse, Mission Impossible Fallout, and Christopher Robin. Alright guys, this is my entertainment. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.